Hello there. This is the family doctor. this morning. Ah. Uh, Amos, you're going to have to stop getting so excited and worked up over trivial matters. Trivial matters? You don't know what you're talking about, Grant Adams. You're just a doctor. You've got no business sense anyway. Is that so? Yes. Well, I keep putting my professional card in the post bugle. Would you call that poor business sense? Ah, oh. oh, you're hopeless. <laughs> well, open up, Amos. Tell me what's troubling you. Is that, that tailor in there? Max Deminsky? What's the matter with Max? Well, he owes me for advertising in six issues of my paper, and he won't pay it. Won't pay it? Well, Deminsky does twice the business that Sid Bloom does over on Hallgate Street, and Bloom pays me promptly every week. Hmm. Well, Amos, uh, you can afford to extend a little credit to Max for a little while longer, can't you? That's just it, Doc. I can't afford to. Great stars, man, I've had a worry on my mind for the last two months that's almost driven me insane. So? Yeah. Hardly anybody in Cedarton knows about it, Grant, but... About a year ago, when I put in that new equipment, that rotary press and the typesetter, uh -huh. well, I, I put a mortgage on the property and goodwill of the post bugle. Oh. Yeah. And I've been able to keep up my payments pretty well. Oh, I've had to dig into my surplus every once in a while, but I've always been able to put it back. The last four months, well, well, my surplus is gone. Oh. I'm sorry, Amos. In the last two months, I haven't been able to make my payments on either the mortgage or the interest. Well, uh... Have you talked to Judge Windsor about uh, extending? Well, that's another thing. Sam Windsor sold the mortgage to somebody else. Oh, I see. Sam said he'd talk to the holder of the mortgage, and I guess he did. Because he told me last week that whoever that person is had agreed to an extension. Well, that should help for a while. But that's why I lose my temper with these petty little merchants like Max Deminsky. He runs up quite a bill for space. And then he's had a few handbills printed for one thing or another until he owes me about $200. If he'd just pay that, it would help toward my payments to the holder of the mortgage. Yes, I can understand that all right. Well, Amos, I'm sorry for the fix you're in. I'm sorry, too, that there's nothing I can do to help you out. Yes, I know, Grant. You would if you could. Well, I... Yes, you would, and you know it. But I guess I'll just have to work it out by myself. Well, thanks, just the same, Grant. Yeah. Uh... If Sid Bloom is a better customer of yours, Amos, maybe you'd rather I take this suit and these clothes of Mrs. Adams over to him instead of Max. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. The more business the Bitsky can get, the better he'll be able to pay me what he owes me. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, goodbye, Grant. You, you've been a help. Just to be able to unload myself to you. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Good luck, Amos. Oh, thank you, Grant. Uh, thank you. Hmm. That's a shame. Oh, well. Uh. Well, <laughs> morning, Max. Ah, good morning to you, Dr. Adams. Good morning. Uh, I mean, it don't look so good to me. Is that so? What's the matter? 
Well, I'm in a terrific trouble. Oh? Yeah, I'm owing a lot of money to Mr. Davis. I'm advertising a man in his newspapers, and he's yes, telling... Yes, I know, Max. What? You know about it? All about it. Amos Day told me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Well, it's got me running around like a chicken in, in, in cycles. Yes, I can understand, all right. Oh, well, times are pretty good with you, aren't they, Max? Uh, yeah, fair to muddling. <laughs> well, then you'll be able to work it out all right in time. Amos is just worried about some personal business of his own. I don't think he wants to press you too hard for the money, but he, he needs it rather badly. Mm, well, I guess you're right. Well, I brought you a little business this morning anyway, Max. My other suit and three dresses of Mrs. Adams. Uh, just press him up a little. Oh, sure. Thank you, Dr. Adams. Thank you. It's going to be a great help, certainly. <laughs> and uh, don't worry about this other thing too much, Max. You know, nothing is as important in this whole wide world as peace of mind. Peace of mind, yeah. You know, Doc, I'd give my left tooth for some of it. Money, bills, business, nothing matters so much as a serene nature. Oh, I know it's hard sometimes to keep collecting, Collections, but... collection, please, doctor, please don't use that word. Oh, yeah, yeah. But when you allow your mind to form such attachments... Attachments, you... collections, please, doctor, it's giving me a headache when you're saying such words to me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Max. Well, good luck anyway. Yeah, yeah, thank you, doctor. Thank you for the business, and uh, it's good luck I'm wishing you too. All yeah. right, Max, so long. Yeah. I wonder who... Mm -hmm. I think I'll drop over right now and see Sam Windsor. I wouldn't have told anybody else in Cedarton but you, Doc, but, well... That's the way it is. Hmm. Why do you know about that? I'd do anything in my power to relieve the situation, but you can see my hands are tied. Yes, but mine aren't. What? What are you going to do, Grant Adams? Never mind. Hand me that telephone there. Uh, certainly. Here, here you are. Action, speak louder than... Oh, hello. Alice, uh, connect me with the post bugle, will you please? Thanks. Action, speak louder than... Uh, uh, hello, Amos? Uh, Grant Adams speaking. Say, I wonder if, if if I could see you at my office this afternoon sometime. Well, about four o'clock. Is that all right? Fine. I'll be expecting you then. Uh, huh? Oh, just a little idea of mine. Yeah, yeah. All right. See you at four. Yes, yes. As I was saying, action speak... Uh, uh, Alice, uh, Dr. Adams again. Now, will you please connect me with Dominsky's tailor shop? All right, thanks. Well, Sam? Yes, as you were saying, actions, actions speak louder, louder than words. words. Yes, and I... I uh, hello, Max. Dr. Adams speaking. Yes, yes. Say, I was wondering if you could get that suit of mine and those dresses pressed up. Uh, say, about four o'clock? Fine, fine. Say, Max, uh, could you run over to my office with them? All right, thanks, thanks. Be there about four, if you will, Max. Yeah, I'll be leaving shortly after. Probably leaving town. Uh, oh, well, all right, Max. <laughs> See you at four. Goodbye. <laughs> Sam Windsor, you almost made me spoil the whole thing. <laughs> well, all right now, Doc. What is it you want me? I want you to be at my office at four o'clock, too. And I want you to bring two receipt blanks, all filled out. The first one is for Max Dominsky's bill to Amos Day. <laughs> Well, Dr. Adams, I hope the clothes pressing is okay by you. Yes, Max, you look fine. How much is it? Well, the suit is 60 cents, and the three dresses are 50 cents a piece. It'll be, let's see, uh, $2.10 all at once. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, there you are, Max. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Well, I guess it'll be saying goodbye. Uh, Max, uh, have you, uh... Uh, well, I, I was going to say you, you, uh, you arrived a little early, didn't you? Yes, yes. As I'm always saying, it's better you should be oily than than ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Hey. Oh, oh, there they are now. Hey, who are they? Yeah. Well, just a minute, Max. Uh, hey, well, Amos, Sam, come in, come in, oh, come in. Hello, Doc. Oh, afternoon, Dominsky. Howdy, Max. Hello, Judge. Uh, 
Hello, Mr. Day. Well, uh, sit down, gentlemen. Sit down. Mm, Thank you. Hey, you too, Max. Well, Go uh, ahead. Uh, all right. Did you uh, bring those papers, Judge Windsor? Yep. Right here. There you are. Papers? What papers? I'm going to show you in just a minute. Now, Amos, as I understand it, Max Dominsky owes you $197. Well, yes, that's right. But how did you... And you owe some unknown person through Sam Windsor's Cedarton State Bank $220 in principal and interest on a mortgage on the Post Bugle. Listen, if it's all the same to you, I think... Sit down, Max. Say, what does this mean? Uh, What's this all about? Please, Doctor, Judge Windsor, if you... I'm sorry, Max, this is out of my hands now. Grant Adams is the doctor. Yes, you bet I am. Now, Amos... You've been a patient of mine for seven years. Yes. And, Max, you've been a patient of mine for four years, ever since you came to Cedarton. That's right. As Judge Windsor says, I'm the doctor. And I'm issuing each of you a prescription that's going to cure you of what ails you right now. I'm sick and tired of seeing you two wear yourselves out, drive each other crazy absolutely without any need. Now, here are my prescriptions, right here on these two pieces of paper. All you have to do is sign them. Let me see those two papers. Why, why, these are two receipts in full. One for Dominsky's advertising bill. To be signed by you. And the other is the receipt in full for my back payments on the mortgage. To be signed by Max. To be signed by Max? But I don't understand. What does this mean? Amos, Max Dominsky is the unknown person who holds the mortgage on the post bugle. What? Uh, Dominsky, is that true? Well, uh... <laughs> Yes, I guess it is. Well, 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 great start. And after the entire transaction is over, Amos, you'll owe Max Dominsky only $13, which he'll take out in advertising in your next issue. Won't you, Max? Huh? Uh, certainly, of course. <laughs> and there you are. Well, how can I thank you, Grant? By quitting making a spectacle of yourself, by jumping all over everybody in Cedarton and working yourself up into a nice case of neurotic dyspepsia and making me <laughs> take care of you. Hey, Mr. Day, what are you laughing at? Grant, I was wrong this morning. Wrong? What do you mean? When I said that you weren't a businessman. You're the greatest businessman in Cedarton. When it comes to minding other people's business... <laughs> <laughs> This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.